fungus. Cyborg. They really think they're funny, don't they? They have no idea what's about to happen. Ikazar. Synth wave. That's what we like. Oh. Oh, they shut up about the fungi, didn't they? Cybussy. FML. Fuck yeah. Fogger, my love. Fratricide, my lord. Oh shit. Is my microphone on? Fuck. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Come in. Do you read me? Fogger Ovid here. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I have to be honest. I didn't expect to see so many of you show up for my first ever stream. Never been one for the spotlight. Always more of a hiding in the darkness kind of guy. Nonetheless, I hope we can make this time together eventful, my confidants. Oh, I am getting ahead of myself, aren't I? <laughs> For now, you're all just a bunch of randoms who are keeping your eyes on Nijisanji En's new offerings. Well, why don't we get to know each other a little better and you can see if you want to stick around. Let's just take a look at my primary monitor. The name's Fogger Ovid. It's a Latin name that comes from the words lightning and sheep. I guess you could call me a black sheep, an electric sheep, or even a sheep in wolf's clothing. As for my age, don't worry about it. Keep in mind, I'm still technically hundreds of years from being born, so as far as I'm concerned, you're all fossils. Goddamn doomers. <laughs> Isn't that fun? In any normal scenario, I'd have to dig up your old bones. Not that I want to do anything with your bones. Um, at 178 centimeters tall, I'm one of the bigger men in my own timeline. From what I hear, many of you can grow to be over six feet. <sighs> it must be nice having so many excess calories to go around. Double Folger, check it out. I made oh, wow. this scene just for all the war oh, fetishists out there. Da 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that is nice! That is <laughs> Let's really start with a close up of my face. I believe this is referred to as a money shot. You may notice that I'm a little pale compared to the average man. In your time, the sun provides all the vitamin D you need for healthy skin and bones. In my time, sunlight is a sure way to get skin cancer and radiation burns. We make do with our own synthetic vitamin D, and believe me, our D feels just as good. <laughs> you're, you're curious about this? Don't worry about it. It's probably just a tin opener. You <laughs> don't have to know. We'll not be talking about that one at all. Not unless you do very well later. <laughs> you should probably get to know me a little more better if you're going to be sticking around. So let's go ahead and discuss the things that I like and the things that I don't. That feels more fitting. Let's go. You should probably get to know a little more about me. So, literature. I have a fondness for all things literature, from writing my own stories to reading those of others as long as they're decent. You may notice that my name is a reference to both a cyberpunk novel and a Roman poet. Let me know in the chat section if you got both of them. Art and animation. I'm a bit of a fanatic. You'll often see me wax poetic about whatever I happen to be watching at the current time, and if you create any fan-made content of me, well, I'll be ecstatic since I have zero artistic skill. These hands weren't made for fine movement. They were made for breaching barriers and choking people. We're probably gonna speed run these last few sections since I talk way too much. I had a lot of movies, so I went ahead and listed a bunch by director to make it more digestible, even though they're all kind of smashing together, so... <laughs> yeah. When it comes to movies, pretty much any genre works as long as it's entertaining. The more wild and weird, the better. These are the wild and weird ones. They're freaking amazing. Also these. <laughs> anyway, let's go on to anime. Again, I have a pretty wide and varied list of interests. Anything dark and exciting will usually win me over if the story holds up. But otherwise, I'm a glutton for irreverent comedy that just never stops making jokes. For now, 
these are what I have for hashtags. Please do help me tomorrow morning. I am not particularly great. Oh, no, we're not doing that first. I jumped ahead one second. I am an idiot. <laughs> You'd think somebody who is a cyborg would be better with technology, but surprisingly, not so much. Here's my schedule for the first week, with beautiful artwork done by At Miyuka Pudding already this week, and Ami Yoshiko, the voice of unfortunately unnamed fridged cyborg. <laughs> and of course, all of Noctix, who have been keeping me sane throughout this process. Now comes the easy part of just streaming a ton. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I had to hold myself back several times through the chat section because you guys are making some pretty interesting comments. But it's fine. <laughs> the problem is, there's just no time. There's never enough time. Never. Thank you all for joining me on this first part of the journey. I already feel at home with the Niji Sanji family, and I'm sure we'll all get to know each other very well in the future too. For the first time, this is Fogorovid signing off. Don't be led astray, my confidants, and I'll catch you next time.